Psalms, chapter 104. We're actually going to read the whole chapter. It's not a long chapter, but we're going to be talking about the subject um, that the Lord has departed. Mm. Real fulfillment of life comes not from getting what we want, but giving God what He wants. Amen. He is our great provider and protector. Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> We're going to see that clearly in this chapter, Psalms 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. He's talking about the great flood right here. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. Are you getting the picture that God is in full control Amen. of nature here? Amen. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth yeah. and wine that he make, maketh glad the heart of man and oil to make his face to shine and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. <clears throat> yeah. The trees of the Lord are full of sap the cedars of Lebanon which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests, as for the stork, for the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat, from God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor unto the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! <clears throat> in wisdom thou hast made them all, the earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea, wherein all wherein are the things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships, there is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. Yeah. That thou givest them, they gather. Thou openest thy hand, they are filled with good. Mm. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Yeah. Thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth, forth thy spirit, and they are created. Thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth, and it trembleth. He toucheth the hills, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Amen. My meditation of Him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Mm. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Blessed thou, bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Let's pray. Father, I thank You for Your Word. I thank You, even here in this one chapter, how it's so clear and evident that everything exists only because of Your power. Amen. And Lord, as soon as You pull away, we cease to exist. And Lord, I pray that You would help us to get a better uh, perspective on You tonight. Lord, help us to draw closer to You because of what we see and what we learn from Your Word. I thank You for that. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's not Mother Nature that makes the world go round. That's right. It's God, the Creator of the universe. Amen. Please don't ever give Mother Nature God's glory. Amen. Mother Nature is a fictitious name that someone has come up with so that God would be robbed of His glory. Only Satan does things like that. It's not Mother Nature. The reason God, or the reason that we have our breath is because God gave it to us. The reason we have eyesight is because God gave it to us. The reason we continue to have eyesight is because God continues to bless us with it. It's very clear in reading this chapter in Psalms 104, just as soon as He pulls away His hand, it's over. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> One time I asked the fellow if God would punish me if I quit going to church. He said, well, I don't think He would punish you. I think He would stop blessing you. Mm. I don't know the difference between the two. Amen. I don't know there is one. <clears throat> it's a blessing for God to give me, for instance, the ability to walk. Yeah. Amen. If He took that away, my life would change drastically. Yeah. We could call that punishment or not, but as soon as God pulls away His his blessing from me in any level, life begins to change for the worse. You don't want God to pull away His hand mm -hmm. of blessing. <clears throat> Things go terrible quickly when God's Spirit is removed or put differently when God removes His blessings. Mm -hmm. Remember King Saul? Yeah. <clears throat> Things were going real good for him for a little while. That's right. Until he sinned and refused to repent. And then what happened? The Bible says that God's Spirit left him. Yeah. And it's very evident if you read through the, the account that he was one of the most miserable people alive at that time. That's right. Angry. Yeah at everybody wanted to kill his own son mm. he was miserable he lost his peace yeah. Yeah. eventually lost his kingdom and his life mm. committed suicide all because God's spirit left him mm. <clears throat> we don't want that to happen what about King uh, what about Samson? Yeah. Samson was actually used of God for a period of time to give victory to uh, Israel as they were un subdued under the rule of the Philistines. Yeah. And even though Samson was not a godly man, God continued to use him. But then it came to a point where God said, you know, my long suffering does have mm. limitations. And finally, he gave the secret yeah. to Delilah. She cut his hair, woke him up, set him up mm. with the Philistines. They came in. Samson thought, you know what? I'm just going to break these ropes just like I did last time. Mm. The Bible says he didn't even know that the Lord had departed. That's right. And he struggled and tried to... Mm. Couldn't break them and 
Next thing he knew, they were putting his eyes out. Put him in prison. And he had to push this this big log that was attached to a a, a grinding mill, yeah. and he walked in a circle, yeah. day after day. Yeah. Couldn't see, had no eyes, and he did that for quite some time. Yeah. Till his hair grew back. Mm. But it's sad because he could have been an, a powerful leader. Mm-hmm and delivered Israel completely. It, that never happened during his life. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't even know that God had departed. Mm. God pulled His protection away from Samson. <clears throat> he quit blessing him. Mm. Again, we could call this punishment or not, I don't know the difference. When God removes His blessings, we're being punished. Mm. The only reason that you and I enjoy the things that we do is because of God's providence. Mm. I was telling Jeanette this afternoon, uh, I had to leave the house for a little while and come back. And When I was coming back, I thought to myself, I am living the dream. Mm. I'm so blessed in all kinds of different ways. Mm. Yes, I could complain about some stuff, but what's the use? Mm. First of all, it's sin. Mm. But when we when we complain, we forget our blessings. Mm-hmm. And normally we're complaining about one thing and forgetting those other 25 things that we have to be thankful for. Mm-hmm. That's backwards thinking. Yeah. But I was thinking, I'm, I'm living the dream. I have a wonderful wife. She loves me in spite of me. She was opposing me actually tonight. I've got to share this because I was trying to come up with some way to make it okay for me to ride a hoverboard in church. (laughs) And she just wouldn't go along with it. I don't know. Like I said, I can complain about some things. But yet I still have a lot to be thankful for, probably that I haven't ridden it yet. Amen. And broke my leg or something. But I do, I I have a lot to be thankful for. A whole lot. And there's so many people that have it so worse, far worse than what I do. But the reason that I'm blessed is because God is blessing. It isn't because I've earned it. It isn't because I'm just... Uh, special. I mean, I'm special, but not that kind of special. God's just good. Amen. We should be praising Him. As David put it, yeah. I will praise the Lord forever. Mm. Why? Because He is forever good. Amen. We do not want His hand to be removed. Amen. Let me tell you how, he can, how you can do that how you can get God's hand to be removed from your life. Mm. Refuse to repent of your sin. And I'm not talking about salvation here. I'm I'm talking to Christians. Refuse to repent of your sin. And you do sin. If you don't think you sin, you're on cloud nine somewhere because reality is we all sin every day. Sadly, sometimes we get we get caught up in certain sins. You might want to call it a pet sin or your besetting sin or something like that, but it continues. And it just keeps continuing. And what that's called is a refusal to repent. Mm. And when we refuse to repent, God's hand is going to pull back. Mm. His blessings are going to come to an end. And again, you can call that punishment or you can call that whatever. God calls it chastisement. Mm -hmm. But His blessings are going to come to an end. I don't know how it will be for you. God knows how to hit us 
where it hurts. Yeah. Sometimes it's not you, but that one you love mm. so much. Yeah. So if you don't want God's hand to be removed from your life, whatever sin's going on in your life, repent yeah. of it. The Holy Spirit has a way of opening our eyes to those things. Yeah. Many times we we tend to be kind of foggy towards that. You know, we can see other people's sins very clearly. Mm. In fact, they aggravate us. At the same time, we can't even see our own. We do get kind of blinded to our sin, right? Yeah. So it's important, I believe, for us to ask God, just like King David did, search me, O oh God. Know my heart. Try me. And see if there be any wicked way in me. Yeah. David didn't want for God to be removed from his life. Mm-hmm. He'd been there. In fact, he said, it, it was terrible. Yeah. I was miserable. Amen. Even my bones were aching. Yeah. I don't want to go through that again. Mm. Point my sin out to me so that I can make it right. David knew that that he could easily get blinded to his sin. Mm. Sometimes we forget that. Amen. I don't know about you, but I don't want God's hand to be removed from my life. No. <clears throat> so it's important that we consider. Every time we have church service, just about, we have an opportunity for to make things right. Yeah. We call that the invitation. Mm. Now, that's a great time to come and make it right, but it ain't the only time. Amen. You can do that anywhere, anywhere. at any time. Amen. As soon as, In fact, as soon as the Holy Spirit deals with you about your sin, that's the time. Mm-hmm. It ain't time to wait. You know, I'll take care of that on Sunday. <clears throat> it don't work that way. Amen. The Lord departed from King Saul. And life turned terrible. Mm. He departed from it from Samson, and it turned out bad. Yeah. You and I don't need to go down that road. Mm-hmm. So, whatever sins of commission or omission that you and I have allowed to continue into a habit, we need to make that right tonight get that passed so that God's hand will stay on us Mm -hmm. so that God's protection His providence His direction His blessings will continue Amen Amen. Let's pray Father I do thank You for Your protection thank You for Your your hand of providence that You have spread across us Lord I pray that You would not remove that Lord help us Show us our sin so that we can repent of it and draw close to You. Lord, we want to continue under Your wings and nowhere else. I thank You for that and I praise You. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's stand and turn 481.